So now, suppose we randomly draw five cards from a deck. What's our probability of getting exactly one ace? Now, in order for us to get exactly one ace, uh, then from the four aces in the deck, we need to be able to, we need to pick one of them. One of them needs to be in our, in our hand, in our set of five cards. Uh, and there are four different ways that that can happen. Uh, and then from the remaining 48 non-aces, we're gonna need four of them. Uh, because in, in order for us to have exactly one ace, we need to have four, uh, one ace and four non-aces. So this is one ace, and then this is picking four non-aces. Now remember, we're doing counting here, so we're figuring out, uh, how many ways, how many ways can I, uh, pick four, uh, you know, one ace out of four, and how many ways can I pick four non-aces out of 48? And there are a fair number of ways of doing that. So our final probability, our probability of exactly one ace is four choose one, times 48 choose 4. Again, that's the picking one ace and f four non-aces, uh, out of all the ways of picking five cards. That's 52 cards. I choose five of them. Uh, altogether, that comes out to be about 778,320 out of all 2.5 million hands. Uh, and it turns out to be about 0.299, or in other words, there's about a 30% chance that out of five cards, one of them, exactly one of them, will be an ace. So now, what if we wanted to find the probability, uh, out of a five card hand of executing exactly two aces? So this is gonna be, uh, very similar to the last one here out of the four aces on the de in the deck, we're gonna need to pick two of them, and out of all the non-aces in the deck, we're gonna need to pick three of them this time, right? So we have a total of five cards, two aces, three non-aces, um, and that's out of all the ways that you can choose five cards out of 52. And that turns out to be about 0.0399, uh, so there's about a 4% chance that out of five, a uh, five card hand, uh, that you'll have exactly two aces, a pair of aces, uh, in that hand.